Cartoons are the foundation stone for the art of tapestry. The weavers use them as a guide in creating the woven pictures that we see in museum collections and castles and large institutions today. These cartoons tell the story of Dido and Aeneas and they were created by Giovanni Francesco Romanelli, an Italian artist who was born in 1610. That is a story that's one of the greatest near-miss love stories from the history of Western literature, written by Virgil in his Aeneid. It tells the story of a queen who dedicated herself to the leadership of Carthage and vowed to remain chaste and never to remarry. But in fact, she falls in love with Aeneas through the machinations of the gods. There's sort of a subtext to this story, and that is the idea of duty over passion. And that's what the six episodes sets out to illustrate. Romanelli and his assistants started from making drawings, and then they blew them up to scale. In order to accomplish this scale, they took pieces of hand-laid paper and glued them edge to edge. So when you look at the cartoons and you're up close, you can actually see the individual sheets of paper, and toward their edge, you can see how they were connected with this glue. The weavers would take the cartoons and lay them under their loom. In this case, the weavers used a low warp loom, which means that they were weaving the episodes from the reverse. This is very clear when one looks at the difference between our cartoon of the death of Dido and the final tapestry of the death of Dido. The cartoons as an ensemble came up for auction in 1969 and that's where Mr. Simon discovered them. A few years later in 1972, he became aware that one tapestry was available and he was able to purchase that. And so that's how we have one very important tapestry that's related to this entire series. The other interesting item with our tapestry that you could see is where the weavers used their own sense of improvisation and artistry to do details. So if you look at the pyre, there is a green garland that hangs from the pyre. In the cartoon, it's very honey-colored with very few details. When you compare it to the garland in the tapestry, the weavers included deep variations of the color green with their silks and wools. They emphasized the golden ribbon. So this is something that they had sort of freehand, if you will, to imagine how this would look. Because the cartoons are works on paper, they're inherently fragile and can be damaged by too much light. For that reason, we cannot have them on continuous exhibition. So this present installation is a wonderful opportunity for people to admire their artistry and their scale and to understand the purpose for which they were executed. Yeah.